this is your boy Silly Bones and right now guys we're getting ready to do a reaction and a review and thoughts and pretty much what we're going to be talking about is what went down at the evosion of 2019 one of my subscribers <clears throat> dm'd me this video and it's called Laura Brenton Sabotage Voting scandal at Romania national selections of evosion 2019, guys. So she sent me this, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. That's why I said review thoughts and reaction. And the reason why is because I did take a glimpse of this, and when I when I saw parts of the video, most of the video, um, I was like, oh man, this this is insane. This is something that people need to you know know about. You know, give them an idea of what went down. And since I saw this, I was like, you know, I got to let the Silly Nation know, you know, what's going down. Why did uh, Laura Brenton loss? Why why did it happen and, and how come? So in this video, when some parts I will pause, some of it I'm going to try to let you guys listen through, you know. But um, this is insane. Um, this is coming from, uh, from um, a YouTube channel called Vidu. Um, I guess he made this investigation himself and he found some videos and he found some truth into what happened. So, which it makes sense. It does make sense when you watch the video. So before I get into this reaction slash review slash thoughts, um, hit that like button, leave some comments down below and hit that mother living subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into this video and also Follow me on my IG page. Both links will be down below. Um, and follow me on my Facebook page. That will be down below as well. Um, I didn't make a separate Instagram page for this channel. So you guys go follow that. I will be working on some photos and stuff to post on there. But for right now, there's nothing on there. Um, go follow that. Um, and those who follow, I will follow back. So please go follow that. It's just going to be for this. It's not going to be anything added. It's just going to be for like photos and you know, different stuff that I want to do onto that page. So, without further ado, let's get it. Sorry for the noise, neighbors. Breton was one of the biggest favorites to represent Romania at this year's Eurovision. She was seen as the most likely winner of the Romanian national selection in all polls leading to the final. The possibility of Esther Pioni winning never crossed anyone's mind. Here is the whole story behind the unexpected result. These two guys supposedly in Eurovision... So those two guys are where we blogged. They got invited to be part of the jury. And they loved, it's going to say in the video, they loved Laura Brand's voice. They loved her voice. They said it was way, 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 it was really good. You know, they even got chills. You know, they said that they were going to let her go. And let's continue. Vision fans were praising Laura Breton to the skies in their first reaction video. In the same video, they found Esther's song, Boring. Which is insane. How are you going to find a song, Boring? but then give the one that was boring high scores. In my opinion, if you listen to the audio and her live show, the audio was better. And so you know when you're in a competition and doing live, your live show should always be better than your audio, which is facts. It's facts. I'm sorry, like it's facts. I, I'm not gonna be one of those reactors that just, you know, lay down and just be like, no, it's good. No, your audio should be less better than your live show. Her live show, you know, it. she could have added more stuff to it. And it's crazy. But let's continue. The positive or negative views are of no importance. However, when the Romanian broadcaster TVR invited them to be part of an international jury of six people... See? They got invited to be part of the jury. So that's, those are Wiggly blogs right there. And those are the other juries. They suddenly became the focal point of the events that were about to be unfolded. Judging from their first reaction and the strong backing from Romanian people, 
It looked as if Royal Britain was already on her way to Tel Aviv. Until this video came out shortly before the final. Watch this. As you heard, the 16-year-old singer had taken a stand against gay marriages before last year's constitutional referendum. Suddenly, these two guys from Vivi Blocks, who are openly gay, changed their minds about Laura's song. William See, that's what makes me mad. How are you gonna be like, you know, you hearing what she says, okay? But you're you're not being professional. You're not, you know, and you guys are gonna probably just say you weren't professional. Yes, I wasn't professional on certain things and what I said. But you're in TV. You're you're national jurors. You're you can't you can't let your what you believe go go against somebody. It goes against them what you believe. You know, I'm sorry. You can't you can't do that. It's wrong. And they did the exact opposite. The Adams and Deban and Deremi, who are supposedly Eurovision fans, gave this song, which they clearly liked very much, 10 points out of 24. What's worse, they gave Esther Piani, who they found boring, 24 full points. No surprise, this had infuriated the Romanian people. I'm gonna pause this right here. I want you guys to read this. <laughs> how, how are you, how are you gonna give someone higher points against somebody that you found their song boring. You found their song, you know, not the best. You found, how? It doesn't make any sense. And the, and the way that, there's no way you're just gonna jump ship. And I'm sorry, Lord Breton's live performance, okay, live performance was better than her audio. I said this, your live show has to be better than your audio. And the reason why is because it's mostly focused on vocal. And if you're not going to be strong vocal, at least try to add something where it's live, where people can see that's better. And, you, you know, it didn't happen that way. Who overwhelmingly voted for Lola Bertan in televoting? According to them, these two gay men from the international jury sabotage Romania's Eurovision chances. We don't agree with Lola Bertan, who is a 16-year-old girl. And we don't find your opinion about gay marriages right. It's not government's business to decide who can marry who. But there is one more thing we don't agree. In spite of her views, Breton, who had the overwhelming support of Romanian people, shouldn't have lost the race by the vote of these two strangers who didn't care about the opinions of a nation and who were clearly on a mission to get back at her for her comments. The only thing that matters to us is that she was the choice of the Romanian people and she was musically superior to all the others. There are two scandals here, one big and one bigger. The big scandal, two strangers, William Lee Adams and Deban Adelemi, deliberately scored a song too low and sabotaged the country's Eurovision chances just because they didn't like the political views of the singer. The bigger scandal is the absurd voting system implemented by the broadcaster TBR and the fact that televoting can only affect the overall result by 15%. Moral of this tale, if you live in Romania, don't let the broadcaster make money by voting in a poll that won't change the result. Thanks for watching. See you in another video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save this real So, just to get a review of everything. And I want you guys to hear me clear. This is the last time I'm talking about this and we're going to move, move forward. We're going to move forward and we're going to listen to other songs and, you know, jam out to it, okay? Um... I'm sorry, as a professional, as somebody that's gonna be on national TV, you can't let what you, what you believe in go against somebody. And even if you're part of the jury, you can't do that, that's unprofessional. And on top of that, you're punishing somebody against their belief, which is also wrong. You're, you're, you're punishing somebody against what she believes in, you know? She may have said that, which we have freedom of speech. I don't know how it is in um, Romania. I'm pretty sure it's the same way. She has freedom of speech, you know. And, you know, I personally, I, I, I respect anybody that believes in what they believe in, no matter how different everyone believes in. I think that they should have put their 
their thoughts and minds aside while voting. And I hope TVR watches this. And and please, I, I, I say this with a lot of love and a lot of care. You know, make sure that the juries that you guys are picking don't put their difference, make sure they put their differences aside. Because for someone to work that hard and have an amazing live show and an amazing audio, just lose to somebody. I'm not saying your peony is not good. She's an amazing singer. She is. You know, that, that song she did was not fit. For, and when I say fit for the competition, it wasn't the way that it, it should have been done. And I feel like for for Wibby Blogs to do what they did, it's, it's wrong. If you're going to have a voting system, follow your voting system. The way the system is, I hope they change next year and I hope this doesn't happen again. You know, Lil Brand, I hope you're watching this and... I apologize. I'm sorry that, you know, things didn't go the way that it should have been. You didn't deserve that. You are still the voice of Romania. You're still, and, you know, um, I really hope that there is justice for this. And if you guys, you know, watching this, please share. Get this around everywhere. Please share, you know. And I really hope that we blogs learn from this. I really hope that they learn from this. And, you know, I hope... That, you know, um, that they can continue doing their thing, but at the same time, think a little bit more before you make a mistake like this. It, it's a mistake. It really is. And, you know, uh, Eric Peone, I applaud you. you. You tried. You did a song that was different. You did a song from what my subscriber said, you know, that's inspired from another song. But... You should have done it differently. And with that being said, guys, um, I love you guys. I really hope that TVR, you know, changes their voting system. I really hope that they change how they they do it because this is this is this is crazy and how everything went down. And you know, um, no disrespect to the. I don't want to say that word. But no disrespect for people liking the same sex. Um, you know, if you believe in something, you know, believe in it strongly, believe in it fully. You know, people should not go against each other. They should love one another regardless of what they believe in. And, you know, um, I do give Laura Broughton, you know, props, you know, for being brave to even put that on TV. To say that she's against this. And against, you know, she's against... You know, the, the, the same sex stuff. You know, she's brave. She's really brave. And I got to give her props for it. And I really hope that... And thank you, Voodoo, Voodoo um, <clears throat> Channel, for putting this up. <clears throat> you know, it's very important. Sorry, guys, my allergies. And, you know, um, putting this up there for people to see. To see the truth in what happened. And um, it, wasn't, it wasn't deserved to happen like that. So... Without further ado, hit that like button, leave some comments down below, subscribe, and please put those comments. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think about my thoughts. Let me know what you guys feel about the whole fiasco and that just happened in the current events that just happened in Erosion 2019. Um, if you guys have anything you guys want to talk about, you can always DM me, text me. Um, my links in my Instagram are down below, Facebook's down below. I will answer your guys' texts. Um, I appreciate every single one of you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. And, you know, and so you guys know my background is, is in music. I've been in music for a long time. I'm a dancer in music. So I do have a hearing for this stuff. And like I said, I've been watching these competitions for a long time. And to see an amazing voice like Lauren Breton, you know, happen the way it did, you know, is not cool. So... So with, with that being said, I love you guys. God bless. God is amazing. Peace. Much love. Take it easy. And together, forget my awkwardness. But um, often this, just you and me, often this. Valley of shadows, and I know they tryna pick me off in this. But all I 